Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the topic Weaving Transformation Pipeline and Window to Viewport Coordinate Transformation. Let's start with the introduction. In introduction, we have to see two important terms that is window and viewport. Now, what is a window? Window is a world coordinate area for the display. In short, we can see that it is the thing from which we can see at the scene. It is a rectangular window as we have seen in this figure. So, we are seeing the specific part of the screen from the window. Viewport is the area on display device to which window is mapped. Means where we are going to display that particular area which we have seen through the window. So that is the viewport. Now in viewing pipeline what we have to do? First we will take any object data. The object consists of various dimensions, different dimensions. So we take that 2D object data. Then we perform the transformation on that data. Then we perform the window transformation means suppose this is a scene which we have seen now we have selected this particular part for the window window is a rectangular area so we perform the transformation and that we clip the part which we want to display on the display device so clipping is done after that viewport transformation then we will display it on a display device and we perform the that's why we have performed the viewport transformation. After that, we perform the scan conversion on this part of the object when we display it on the display device. Now this object will become the image. Then we'll store the information about that image into the frame buffer. And finally, the image get displayed on some part of the computer display. So this is ab about the weaving pipeline. We can see it in different term as the term weaving pipeline describes a series of transformations which are passed by geometry data to end up as image data being displayed on a device. Means first it is an object in a real world, in a world coordinate system which is having the, some dimensions and when we display that object into the display device then it is turns into the image then it will not have the actual dimension. The, when we display that onto the display device, it will get the different dimension. The 2D weaving pipeline describes this process for 2D data. Now let's see how the weaving pipeline actually works with the series of transformation. First of all, we have to construct the object and scene. Then the object will have its own coordinate, that is the object coordinate. The coordinate in which individual objects are created are called as object coordinates. And then we assemble that object into a scene. We create a scene. Then we describe it into the world coordinate. After the transformation into the coordinate system of the camera or the viewer, they become the viewing coordinate after displaying it onto the display device. Then we take the projection of that into the device independent normalized coordinate. And then finally, we map this normalized coordinate to a specific device. We get the device coordinate and finally the image get displayed on a computer screen. So this is the weaving pipeline. Now we see the window to viewport transformation, how the image get transformed from window to viewport. So it is a process of transforming a two-dimensional word coordinate scene to the device coordinate. In particular, objects inside the world or a clipping window are mapped to the viewport. The viewport is displayed in interface window on the screen. So as we have seen, there is some scene are there, is there. We see the specific part of that particular scene using the window, which is a rectangular area. And we have to display the area within the window to the display device, that is to the viewport coordinate. So we display it here. With, then after this, we will call this as a viewport when we display it on the 
viewport coordinate in other words the clipping window is used to select the part of the screen which is to be displayed the viewport then positions the scene on the output device means we finally get this picture selected picture from the scene on the display device then the window to viewport coordination is defined with the help of some coordinates so for that we have to understand how the coordinates are used here here two types of coordinate we have to use world coordinate and device coordinate now this is a window which is in the world coordinate system and viewport is in the device coordinate now here from the x direction we are having xw mean that is in the x direction the coordinates of the window are xw mean and xw max w stands for window and in y direction we are having yw mean and yw max this is the maximum coordinate and this is the minimum coordinate and we have selected this area from the whole scene likewise we are having the coordinates for the viewport that is xv mean and xv max v stands for viewport and yv mean and yv max so in this way we can decide the coordinates for the window and the viewport it may be possible that the size of the viewport is much smaller or greater than the window means the size of the viewport is not equal to the window it may be different or same in this cases we have to increase or decrease the size of the window according to the viewport now these are the points on the window so for window we are having the coordinates xw yw and for viewport we are having the coordinates xv and yv so first of all we have to calculate the point xv and yv now we have to calculate the coordinates for the viewport because we have to display the image on the viewport so normalized point on the window is now we are having the window uh, coordinate uh, given and we have to convert it into the viewport coordinates so we have given here the equations for the point which are on the window so xw minus xw mean divided by xw max minus xw mean comma yw minus yw mean upon yw max minus yw mean so these are the points of the window in the normalized coordinate then normalize point on the viewport same as that of the above xv minus xv mean xv max minus xv mean and the for y coordinate we are having yv minus yv mean and yv max minus yv mean using this now we have to find the relative position of the object in window and viewport are same so for that we have to consider for x coordinate and for the y coordinate so for x coordinate we have written this so the coordinates x coordinate of the window will be same as that of the viewport same for y coordinate y coordinate of window is equal to the y coordinate of the viewport after that we have to calculate the x and y coordinate for the viewport then we have get by solving the above equations xv is equals to xv mean plus xw minus xw mean into sx and yv is equals to yv mean plus yw minus yw mean into sy this sx and sy are the scaling factor as we are changing the size of the object when we display it onto the screen it may be greater it may be smaller so that's why we are changing the size of the object so for that we have to use the scaling factors sx and sy then after solving the equation we can get the equation for the sx and sy if we put the values of xv max xv mean xw max xw mean and same for that of the y coordinates we will get the scaling factors and we will come to know the size of the scene which is inside the window we, we if we display it onto the viewport then what is the actual size is it greater or is it smaller it depends on the scaling factor sx and sy now how to map it to the normalized coordinate now if we want to 
suppose there are two monitors monitor 1 and monitor 2 now mapping method parts of the scene in a normal s coordinate two different video monitors with the workstation information now there are two monitors and we have displays in a normalized space means we are considering the viewport of both the workstation into a single normalized place where both of them are placing together so this is the mapping to the normalized coordinate now the advantages of viewing transformation is we can display the picture at a device or a display system according to our need and choice means whatever part of the scene we have to display we can display it with the help of viewing transformation according to our need what part of the scene we have to display on a which part of the display device so that things we can do with the help of viewing transformation so this is all about the viewing transformation and window to viewport mapping thank you